Okay, hello everyone and welcome to uh, Tabor Talk. A little bundled up, I just came in, it's like 23 degrees out there, windy, cold, here in the Catskills, so it's January, right? What is it, January 18th, something like that. Okay, so uh, getting right into this, uh, I've been on this Jordan Peterson kick, by the way, in my library I found out, here we are, Jordan Peterson's map of all right maps of meaning big fat thick book actually it took him 14 years to write this um was it 14 years something like that but i know he said that he, he had rewritten it more than a dozen times so it's incredible and then jordan peterson's 12 rules i lost the cover here uh 12 rules for life and then he's got another one so and let me show you a little bit of his lecture. I've been listening to a lot of, going back and listen to his, um, actually his biblical series. This one is biblical series six, the psychology of the flood. Here's the great Jordan Peterson, the great, right, here we go. It's that you live in a nested hierarchy of these. And you could think of this as your own internal patriarchy. That's a good way of thinking about it. And maybe it could be a tyrant or maybe it could be something that gives you security and functional autonomy. And hopefully that's the one you go for. But it's a battle, you know, because a little bit of tyranny exists in everyone. And so, well... What happened there? Oh, so that's just... At the very highest level of analysis... He's got a chart there. That would be the overarching there he is. story. The Maybe lighting... Let me... Like hold on, let me just... Person or a successful... Let me just change the, uh, the settings here, and I'll, I'll continue to talk. So, what I want to talk about here is... It's just really like what an enigma he is it just doesn't make sense when you see this guy you look like he's perfect he's like this you see him very good looking guy extremely articulate very intelligent you know he's a professor super well read he's got all his hundred his book lists all the greatest books of the, like 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 in the history of whatever you know i mean he's just this incredibly impressive man and his lectures are so compelling and he's so perfect he seems perfect before i'm gonna get into that so perhaps the only flaw was that he's too perfect and then as we all know a couple of years ago um he went into uh you know he had his problem with xanax uh addiction and he actually went into uh, a self-induced coma in Russia. And still to this day, it's been two years now, he's still completely fucked up. So let me just play a little bit more of this. Person, famous person. I think good's probably be better because you can come up with the definition of good if you want, as long as it doesn't annoy other people too badly. But look at that guy. Because they'll just get in your way and that won't be helpful. So you have to negotiate it. But there's but that let's say you're That's a good what it person. Is. That's sort of the story at the top of the hierarchy. And then you can de so decompose that. So if you take a look at this book, Maps of Meaning, it's got all these uh, types of flow charts. I mean, I have not read this book. I tried, and it's a little, you know, you know, it's a textbook. Chaos and all, all of this. And I've not, I'm only like 50 pages, if that, into uh, 12 rules for life. So... The question is, like, and he's such an interesting guy, and he seems so, like, a very nice man, too. So, but, but you have to say to yourself, like, how is it possible that someone who basically his whole life is how to live a productive life, you know, 12 rules for life, but yet you're a fuck up yourself, you know, like... It just doesn't make sense. And all I, I could think of is do as I say, but not as I do. So what I plan on doing is actually doing a series on not only uh, Jordan Peterson's uh, videotapes, but but at least these two books. I'm, I, I, I've not purchased his latest one. And get into, like, what is it about Jordan Peterson and... And here's a guy who teaches how to live a good life and yet is a total, what can he say, fuck up himself, okay? 
part one, more to come. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here at Table Talk.